Hey down please, it's Dave Decide. Today I want to get into Jungkook appearing nude on VLive. What happened here? I was seeing some fan accounts and just some interesting things. Of course, there's people upset and we will talk about it. I also want to get into a moment where Jungkook appeared with a pantsless woman on a live show and what happened there. So, hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, tea spilling mug merch, and let's get into it. The first thing that I wanted to get into was Jungkook and this pantsless woman. First off, it bothers me that a lot of people and a lot of people in the fandom will use so many other excuses to send hate to someone rather than just what the actual issue is, which is just racism. Like if you don't like a certain race, just say that and be done with it. But then they try to hide behind this racism by making excuses that don't make any sense. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me give some context. During a recent concert, Megan the Stallion came on stage and decided to perform with BTS. This was during the PTT concert and Megan shocked everyone by making an appearance. Now Megan jumping on the track Butter was already controversial for many reasons. One of the reasons being that her on a Korean male group track was allegedly not seen as on brand for her label and she was initially advised to not be a part of the song. But when she ultimately did add her part to the song, she made sure that the lyrics were more PG and friendly as BTS has a lot of younger listeners. And I believe she talked about this during an interview, how that was very intentional. But even then it was controversial to some armies because Megan was known as someone with more risque lyrics and they didn't want BTS to be a part of that. However, Megan's music, same with Lizzo, Nicki Minaj, and any other currently popular black female artist, they make music that represents their culture and writes lyrics that make them feel good and makes them feel powerful and liberated as a female black artist. It may not be your cup of tea to listen to some of these artists' music, but it is music that is important to a lot of black women and important for representation of some of these black women. When Megan came on the PTD LA concert stage with BTS, she was dressed in this beautiful pink outfit with no pants. It was like a leotard. It was beautiful. She literally looked like a Barbie doll. This was apparently the issue with some fans, that some fans had talked about how she was dressed completely inappropriately. However, what is the difference between what Megan wore here compared to any other female K-pop artist? Maybe Megan is a little more curvy. Is that the issue? Worst case scenario, the hate towards Megan was racist. Best case scenario, these fans would have insulted any female artist that would have worn what they wore if they were on stage with BTS. Meaning they just want to have thrown hate to any woman that exists next to BTS and looks for something to insult her for. If the argument is that the fans insulting Megan is not racist, why not just say how you really feel? That you would be up against any woman ever collabing with BTS. Just admit that. At least at that point, we can stop the shameful slut shaming and move on to the real issue, which is that people believe they own the boys. Because at the same time, the argument is that these fans don't care when BTS shows up on stage naked themselves. Jungkook has sometimes gone on stage with his blazer unbuttoned or has worn shirts with a lot of holes that show nip and even sometimes wore an extremely sheer shirt that you could totally see everything. The same armies that are attacking Megan literally have no problem with that and would even tweet photos of Jungkook being shirtless. So there's no problem with nudity, it's just women or worst case just black women. But also I want to make it clear that I don't think what Megan was wearing was at all slutty or showing too much. It looked very normal. I don't think she showed off more than what any other artist does. But Megan looked really beautiful, like she was actually glowing and I could not stop up staring at her. And I honestly feel like that was one of the issues. If it was a non-traditionally attractive woman, there would be a lot less hate. Which explained to me how that is not messed up. In any situation, the hate on Megan is really messed up. And Megan seems so nice. Jungkook is definitely nowadays not shy about showing his beauté and showing it off to the world. When Jungkook was younger, he definitely did not look the way he does now. He wasn't as buff and his body looks much bigger now. This of course takes a lot of hard work, specific diets, a strict workout routine. I mean, if it didn't, we'd all have six-pack abs, right? But of course, with all this effort, you're not going to just want to hide your hard work. You want to show it all. But it is seen as indecent in Korea to show nips and chest and all that sort of stuff. In fact, it's very much not allowed on daytime TV and parents will get mad and call in the TV station if they see something like that being played on their TV. Jungkook does get a lot of hate, especially from parents saying that he needs to get rid of his tattoos, piercings, and not be shirtless as this sets a bad example for their children. And that Jungkook maybe shouldn't have in influence or be in a boy group or whatever they say. However, all this stuff that Jungkook does on TV, whether it's tattoos and piercings, is all stuff you need to be over 18 to do. So really the issue here is if your kid goes and gets, let's say, a tattoo, you can't blame Jungkook for putting this idea in your child's head. You need to blame the tattoo artist for tattooing a minor. Your kid is going to learn about shirtless men, piercings, and tattoos from someone else, if not Jungkook. He is not the first person in the world to have tattoos and piercings and be shirtless on TV. Your kid going on the internet and seeing 
seeing any male celebrity in America you'd probably be able to find shirtless pics and even more so on Netflix. It was funny during a previous live stream, I believe this was when BTS was in New York and they had just finished their UN thing, the performance and speech, and they headed back to the hotel and decided to do a group live stream. Every time there is a big event, they will almost always do a stream, so keep that in mind. Like after a big award show, maybe even after a big concert, if they still have the energy. So if you want to catch a live stream of BTS and never did before, just check their schedule and see if they have any upcoming big things and sometimes they'll go live after that thing and thank ARMY and celebrate with us. So BTS was celebrating the UN thing and Jungkook was there in the corner and he was rolling his socks off. Only this is normally not weird but it caught ARMY's attention mainly because it wasn't the normal socks but the socks with the toes. I don't know but I hate those socks. I don't care if people wear them, I just personally hate them. But I guess that's how you take them off. You have to roll it off. And Jungkook created this thing that the other members called an art piece from rolling the sock. But of course the other thing that caught ARMY's attention was that Jungkook was wholeheartedly flashing his foot. His foot got entirely seen and shown. This isn't a big deal I guess but there are some fan pages that are dedicated strictly to Jungkook's feet and they would repost and sometimes even get a lot of reposts. And Jungkook shows his feet often enough for these accounts to have content. I'm not bashing them. Everyone is into whatever they're into. But I do think it's funny that Jungkook very openly does not hide his foot and sometimes even makes an effort to show it on camera when foot fetishes are the most common one. But it maybe shows that he is not uncomfortable with the idea. I don't know. Of course, people can't blame Jungkook for the activities that the fandom does. Like the fact that Jungkook's foot is seen and then there's fan pages about it, that is not Jungkook's fault. And then if Jungkook happens to get hate because of those fan pages, that doesn't mean that Jungkook needs to stop. Like for example, this is the big issue with BTS shipping moments when the fandom puts two members together. The result of two members being together would often result in hate for BTS. And then in order to stop that or lessen that, the boys just show less affection on camera. But is that really the correct thing to do? Us fans love these moments and have always loved them. But now we can't enjoy them or even have much of them because some people hate them. It seems a bit unfair to just stop it altogether. And then you'll have BTS in the future not being able to show any emotion at all. And to be honest, this is what makes a group lose their momentum. The fandom finds them less relatable because they can't do any relatable or fun things without criticism. And then the new funnier group comes up and they steal the spotlight. We cannot let that happen to BTS. And the shipping moments and funny moments on VLive are exactly what makes BTS so lovable and makes them so relatable. It is normally said that the moments during a live stream or small post on Instagram don't really matter to the overall popularity of a group or artist because not every single fan is following their post or following their live streams, but everyone is following their music. However, with BTS, everything they do does matter. Their live streams is seen by millions of people and probably a big chunk of the overall fandom, and they need to be personable and fun in the streams. But now they may feel obligated to not show much because they're scared that there might be some backlash online. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos, link down below. Thank you to this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.